Hi everyone, my name is Sierra Nichols. I am the education manager for Circus Talk as well as the founder of Seesaw, connecting circus students around the world. Today we're gonna to do a brief tutorial on Circus Talk to show you how to get the most out of your use. Okay, so we are going to start with your home page on Circus Talk, and I'm just going to talk really quick about what you can find here. So your home page is pretty much where you can find access to everything. For example, over here in the right hand corner, you'll see that you can create an act or a show or job, audition, residency or event on your home page. And also that you can post any of these things here through this little block. So Here's where you can post on Circus Talk and it'll populate on the wall and you'll see if I scroll down that this is very similar to other forms of social media. So I can see that this person liked to post and that this person updated their profile and that these people liked this job. And so this is where you can find other users activity on Circus Talk and also where your activity will end up going. Now, if you look over here on the left-hand side, this is going to be some of your more personal information. So this is where you can edit your profile, look at your media, look at your messages and your content. Um, you can look at your followers and see who's following you. And then down here, it'll give you a little box of who to follow. So I can just go through and decide that I wanna follow these people. And if I wanted to, I could see more people to follow there as well. Over here, you'll see that jobs, auditions, and residencies populate here. And yeah, so this is your homepage where, like I said, it kind of connects you to all parts of Circus Talk. And now we're gonna go a little bit more in depth into the other tabs and features of Circus Talk. So like I said, this is your first one, your homepage here. And if I go to who's who, then you can see that it'll show me all of the members that are on Circus Talk. So this includes individuals, companies, festivals and conferences, schools and training spaces, agencies, venues, suppliers, organizers, publications, museums, all of the types of profiles that you might find on Circus Talk. So one really great part about your Circus Who's Who page is that you can search for members. So you'll see here, I've started typing that I wanna search for 3AM Theater. And if I wanted to, I could select the type of uh, profile that they'll be, but I'll just go ahead and click all. And then I know that they are located in North America. So I'll search for 3AM Theater in North America. And you'll see here that it populated their profile page and I could click on it. And that's how I could find somebody on Circus Talk. So that's the search members feature on Who's Who. And as I said, this is where you can go to explore all the different types of profiles that are present on Circus Talk. The next tab is going to be for acts and shows. Now this tab is particularly useful if your profile type on Circus Talk is either a uh, performer or somebody who is looking to hire performers. So I'm gonna go in and click on acts. And you'll see here that now it has populated a list of aerial acts on Circus Talk as well as a list of ground acts. So if you are an active performer or an inactive performer, you can go over here onto the right hand side and you can click on create an act page. And so here is where you would fill out all of the information about your act, the title of it, you can choose a photo, put the country of origin, the year of creation, and the year of completion. So the year of completion is particularly useful to pay attention to because if you put that the act is complete, it will show up as archived on the act page, and I'll show that in just a moment. And then you can select the discipline, either aerial or animal or ground whatever your act happens to be. And you put the length of your act and the number of performers, and then you click on save. And so you can see here, for example, like I was just talking about, this act says that it's archived, which means that it's no longer available for hire. Whereas these ones here don't have that little red banner, which means that you could go ahead and hire those acts. So if you are someone looking to hire a performer or hire an act, then the search acts feature is going to be really useful. So you can 
select a keyword here, for example, like handstand or straps or whatever you're looking for, and then you can click on an act category. So if you want to see an active act because you're looking to hire somebody, you would click there. Or the archived feature gives us kind of a history of all of the acts that Circus Talk profile performers have completed. And then of course you can click on the location and the continent. You can click on the availability, like if you're looking for a holiday time act, you can look if you want just one performer or more than that, and you can look for the length that you want. So if let's say I'm looking for a handstand act, I want it to be active and that would be a ground act. And I could look at the discipline, and here is where I could also select hand balancing. Let's say that I'll just click on all because I could hire someone from anywhere. I want them to be available from today until I could go all the way until this time next year if I wanted. And then I want one to maybe three people. And for the length, I'm looking for two minutes to, let's say, eight minutes. And I click search. And here's what has popped up. So this first one here, comedy handstand, I could go in and I could look to see the photos and the videos in this act page. I can read all about it. I can look at the availability and the media credits, the awards it might have received, and the contact for this act. And then you'll see down here, it also has a cast list, so I can see who is present in this act. And then if I wanted, I could go and look at that person's profile and find out a little bit more about them. So that is how to use the act page if you are looking to hire people. So now the show page, if I go in, the show page is going to function very similarly to the act page. So just like I said before, um, here's a list of active touring shows. You can scroll through and then active fixed location shows and shows from the past. So archived shows that are no longer happening. And once again, I can create a show page here and go through and save that information to post my show, or I can search for shows if I'm looking to hire a show. So. That's how to use the act and the show feature on Circus Talk. Now, if I go into the jobs tab, here is where you will find all of the jobs that have been posted on Circus Talk. So here over on the right hand side, if you want to post a job or an audition or a residency, that's how you would do it. You would go in and fill out that information and then click save and it'll post it here to the recently added part of the job page. And then it starts to organize the jobs, which is really nice for the circus community. So this is performing jobs if you're a performer. This is non-performing jobs, so teaching or administrative or other opportunities like that. Here are the open calls and the residencies and the grants. So if I need to search for a job on Circus Talk, the great thing is that I can go up here and I can specify my search because there are so, so many jobs listed on Circus Talk, which is great. I can narrow it down a little bit. So let's say that I am working in the United States and that I'm specifically looking for a job and maybe I want it to be in the Northeast United States. And let's say I'm a performer, and so I want a performing job in the Northeast United States, and I'm not gonna add a name or keyword because I just wanna see what's possible, and I click search. So you'll see here now that it has posted the specialty performers job opportunity, and then a couple of jobs that have already expired. So if I wanna look into this one, I just click on it, and it tells me what the application deadline is, the job start date, how long the job is, and if it's part-time or full-time. And then it also gives a little description and tells me how to apply. So that is how to search for a job on Circus Talk. And you'll see over here, it'll tell me what other jobs I might like based on this one. Now, if I go to the events tab, Events is going to be where I will find things like festivals and things like maybe workshops. And also, this is where you will find application deadline and audition information for circus schools. So you'll see here a recently added tab, festival and conferences, workshops, monthly event calendar, 
and it goes all the way into 2020. Similar to the job page, if I wanted to post an event, here's where I would do it. If I wanted to find events near me, so let's say I'm in the European Union and I'm looking for shows because I want to go see shows and I want to go see shows between now and let's say November. So I'll just search and see what's out there. And great, here's where it populated a list of shows that I could see in the European Union between now and November. So let's say I just click on this one and it'll give me information about this show. I can see that it's Circus Decor's new show. I can find ticket info. I can join it to tell other Circus Talk members that I'll be there and all sorts of information. I'm gonna go now into the education and training tab. In the education and training tab, you can post a workshop or post a circus camp. You can see the recently added schools and training spaces. You can see school application and auditions will populate here, which is so great. I can see, for example, that the Code Arts application and audition is between now and February 1st, 2020. If I want to apply, I would just click on that and it would give me information about how to apply there. I go back. So you can also see upcoming workshops and intensives, circus camps, and then education and news. And all the way at the bottom here, you can see that FedEx and Caravan, two wonderful resources for circus school information, have their very own fields where they will be posting things from their organizations. So this is great. It gives me so, so much information about education. And then once again, if I wanted to search for a school in training spaces, I can put these great filters on it so that it would populate a school for me. And I could look specifically into that one. I'll go into the news tab now. So in news in this first category, I'll see some of the newer news or the highlighted news. I can see news and events. I can see reviews. There's a whole education section. There's a meet the organization, meet the artist, advice, history, social circus, obituary, research, opinion, all sorts of fantastic articles curated by Circus Talk so that you can learn as much as possible about the circus community around you and what's going on in the circus world right now. So over here, you can see that I can search the news. So for example, if I wanted to search for news about Secor, I can see this new article about the Circus Secor School and I can read more in order to see the full article and I can learn all about the Circus Secor High School program here and then the author and it'll even link to the author's Circus Talk profile so I can learn more about them. So those are some of our great news features. And over here, you'll see that it tells you things that are trending. So this article right now is trending. Yeah, so that's our news feature. And you can see in the Circus News, you can go up to this tab in order to organize exactly what you're looking for. So the last tab up here is our search feature. So you, if you go on to Circus Talk and specifically are looking for something, this is great because you can search members, acts, shows, jobs and auditions, events and news. And we talked about a lot of that already. And so the last thing that we'll talk about is up here. This is where you can see your notifications and your inbox and the language that you've chosen. Yep, so if I click on that notification, then it'll populate all of the things that have happened recently. So I can see that these people sent me a message and this person is following me. And if I click here on the little mail icon, it'll pull up my messages and I can view all those messages or I can compose a message so you can talk directly to people on Circus Talk. And then over here in the right hand corner is your specific profile tab. So if I click on this, it'll show up that it's my profile here and that'll show me all my information. And if you want to learn more about how to utilize Circus Talk to make your profile as complete as possible, you can view our other tutorial specifically about completing your profile. If you are a performer who also has a different company or if you have a different Circus Talk profile, you can link those profiles. So you'll see that my Seesaw account is linked. And so similar to other social platforms, I can just click on that and I can switch to this account, which will have all sorts of different information for me. 
All right, that is our general tutorial for Circus Talk for today. Thank you for joining me and tune in for new tutorials to come soon.